Well, hello, folks. I'm Ben Clements, and we're right here at Bryan, Texas for the Brazos Valley Classic. It's the final qualifier for the American before the semifinals. Stay tuned to the final spin. Well, let's get right into the action. We're going to break down the short round of the American, and we're going to start with the 21st team back. It's Kenton Woodson, and his partner is John Phillip. This team of the 26 and 17, they need to be a 781 right here to go to the lead. Kenton gets out, gets him caught, and little John comes around their 776, bringing their total of 33 and 93, and they are number one. Let's go now to the 18th high back. It's Dustin Bird. His partner on the backside, Cesar De La Cruz. This team of the 25 and 44. Now with a run of 848, this duo could go to the lead. And man, Dustin gets it on him. And Cesar comes down. He shuts the run down. They're 6 and 74. And they go to the number one spot for the 32 and 18. 17th high back. It's the hot-handed Clay Smith and his partner, Will Woodfin. This team with a 25 flat. They need to be a 717 to go to the lead of the Roping. Clay gets it on him, and Will, this guy, amazingly fast, heals him down. They're 6 and 34, puts their total at 31 34. They're the new leaders. We'll climb up to the 12th high team back. This is Kelsey Parchman and Richard Durham. Now they are 24 and 36. If they could rope this steer in 697, they'd go to the lead. And they get him right here. Kelsey on the head side, Richard comes in. Well, they're 12 and 12, a little longer than they wanted to be. 36 and 84. That's going to put them fourth right now. It's the 11th high team back. It's Jackie Crawford on the head side. Caleb Driggers on the heel side. Now they are 24 and 12. This team with a 721 could go to the lead. Jackie gets a clean start, gets him caught, and Caleb heals him. They're two feet, seven and 64. Their total is 3176, and they are now number two. It is now the sixth high team back. Here's Tyler Wade on the head side, Dustin Davis to the back side. They're 2249. They got to be an 884 to go to the lead. Now Tyler gets him caught in a hurry. Dustin has to kick around. Things go a little bit awry. They're 11 and 19. They're going to be a 33 and 68, and that's going to put them fifth right now. The fourth high team back. Joel Bach on the head side. Tommy Zuniga to the back side. They're a 22 and 23. They've got to be an 837 to go to the number one position. And they get this one caught. 803 puts them at 30 and 26. And they are the new number one. Third high team back. Well, that's going to be Arky Rogers and Travis Woodard. This team with a 22 and 15. They've got to be 810 to go to the lead right here. Arky Rogers takes a safe start. Gets him caught right here. Moves him out and Travis heals him. They are 6 and 63. They are 28 78. They've got two teams to rope. It is Nathan McCorder and Tommy Zuniga now with a 22 and 10. They need a run of 667 to go to the lead of the roping right here. Nathan gets him caught. Tommy, one hind leg. They're going to be 11 and 29. That's going to put them at 33 and 39. They are eighth right now, and it's time for the high team back. Tommy Edens and John Paul Lucero with a 21 and 67. They've got to be a 7 10 to win the roping and disaster strikes for this team. They're going to be no time. The win of the roping, well, it's the team of Arky Rogers and Travis Woodard roping a great roping right here. They're going to win $12,240. I had a moment to catch up with our champions, Travis Woodard and Arky Rogers. Well, I'm standing here with our champion of the American qualifier here at the Brazos Valley Classic in Bryan, Texas. Arky Rogers, you roped a good roping today. What was your game plan starting out this morning? You know, I like to start out just making good runs, like practice pin runs, and then as the roping goes on, if it gets tougher, you know, and the steers start to get more patterned, and uh, you can kind of pick out some that you know and, and, and pick up your speed as you go, and, that, and that's kind of what I tried to do, and just uh, try to get a good start, and the cattle were fresh, and made sure I tried to just set them up good for Travis, and uh, he did an awesome job of healing and worked out great. What's going to be your game plan going into next week at, at Mesquite? You know, you know, I try not to make a real big uh, plan. I try to just go beat my steer. I get, I got an outstanding horse, and uh, if I miss the barrier just a little bit, I feel like I can still go make a a, a very good run and uh, just go beat my steer. So talk about the money a little bit. You mentioned a million bucks, and that's what we're going to be roping for essentially here at AT and T Stadium in a couple of weeks. Uh, how how is that? Is it a changer? What's it like? Oh, I mean, a million dollars, that's life-changing, you know, and uh, 
and uh, we're, we're going to be there after them. Hey, that's what I like to hear, a positive attitude. Yeah. How cool is it going to be to back into uh, the, the head and box at AT&T Stadium? What's that going to be like? Can you even imagine? You know, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling, um, and I'm going to think about it, you know, as uh, just a practice pin, a nice place to stack hay as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> and go make my practice pin run and celebrate after. <laughs> there you go. That's a great plan. Arky, congratulations today. Good luck the next two weeks, and we'll see you right there at AT&T Stadium. Thank you very much. Here we are with our champion healer right here at uh, Bryan College Station, the Brazos Valley Classic. Travis, I know you came down last night, and uh, you, you had a ride down here from Stephenville. You had to think about this a little bit. Uh, what was running through your head last night on the drive down here? Uh, last night on the drive down here uh, was... You know, I really like this song on the radio, and it was well, I wasn't really thinking about healing too much. You know, I, I try to stay loose as I can, and and uh, so going into the qualifier, what what's going to be your strategy there? No, oh, same thing I did here today. Try to stay away from those steers, keep good good distance, and you know, believe in myself and see what happens. So the American is is a great concept then for for big money. Oh, you're talking about, I mean, I'm more, I'm more speaking to sky's the limit for where I see something like this going. But as far as what it is right now, I mean, a chance to win that much money is absolutely life changing for anybody. So just just the idea of it, I mean, entering it and, and winning this roving today, it's like when you go and you buy the five hundred million dollar lottery ticket and you put it up here and you think for two days about I'd buy a jet. No. No, I'd buy the mansion first, you know, that kind of thing. And that's a little bit of the American. I'm excited to get a chance to rope for that much money. Tell me about the pressure in the short round right there as you backed in the box. Your third high team back. You got some great teams coming after you. Um, what, what, what were you thinking? You know, I, I, I heal a lot off a of distance, and I, th I think it's a major mistake to cover steers up and, and uh, just tr really try to stay away from him. I missed one for Tyler Waters today. And... Uh, you know, got beside him, and it's just hard to do. So, so that's all I was thinking of. But if, if I don't know if you filmed the short round or not, but if you watch that, look at Arky, and you're seeing a guy that wants that steer healed. I mean, his feet were taped together the whole time. So when I seen that kind of shaping up, I thought, oh, this is going to be easy, you know. But the, the more pressure comes from sitting beside the heel box, and you're playing that music, and you know, thinking, you know, oh my God, I got an eight-month-old kid at home. This is for. <laughs> Six thousand bucks, you know. You got to just throw that garbage away and focus on the fundamentals and your job. You bet. Well, Travis, congratulations. You roped a great roping. We hope to see you at AT&T Stadium. Thank you very much, Ben. Well, again, congratulations to our winners, Arky Rogers and Travis Woodard. They're excited for the opportunity to compete for potentially a million dollars. Another unique thing is Jackie Crawford. She is the only girl to qualify inside the top 50 at the American, and I had a moment to visit with Jackie. Well, here I am standing with uh, Jackie Crawford. We're right here at uh, Bryan College Station, the Brazos Valley Classic. Jackie, it's kind of weird to call you Jackie Crawford. Uh, you've been Hobbs for so long, recently got married to Charlie Crawford. And so congratulations on that, first of all. What made you decide to enter the Open Division here today? Um, it's something we toyed with back in the fall when, all, when the Americans started, started out and talking about the qualifiers. And um, we... At first, I thought, you know, I should try that. And I had a friend hit me up about she'd love to sponsor, sponsor me if I wanted to do that. And um, I just, it's kind of one of those things I kind of planned on for next year maybe. But um, this week after the wildfire and everything, Charlie, we were driving, and he said, you know, you ought to enter that. He said, there's no reason you shouldn't enter that. And so I called her up, and um, Karen Herbst with CinderellaHorses.com, she sponsored our team, me and Caleb. And, um, you know, it just gave me a shot. and and it all worked out and played out perfect. That was that was Monday, and here we are on Friday and <laughs> qualified. So were you nervous a little bit this morning? Yeah, I was. You know, this is actually the first open open I've ever entered. Um, I've actually only entered the 15 a few times. Um, I was talking to somebody about this earlier. I guess I've never really had a truly seasoned horse that you could rope in the open on, and so luckily... Um, Brooke asked me how, how I got to ride the second string horse and Charlie was riding the third and fourth string horses. I said, because it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It is Valentine's Day and that's, that's a great deal. So you're going to get to go to the semifinals of the American. How does that make you feel? Oh my gosh. It, you know, it's just kind of happening so fast. It's, I, you know, I feel a little out of my league, but then at the same time, I'm like, you know what, I, I got this far. And so you just work this week on it and, and, uh, do the best I can do and it's pretty I guess it is a pretty good honor I guess to be the uh, 
the first girl, I'd say, that to make it to the qualifier of the Americans. So. Hey, you know what, Jackie? Congratulations. We look forward to doing this interview at AT&T Stadium when you've got a million bucks in your pocket. I hope so. I hope we are. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's how easy it is to qualify to the American right there. That's what it's all about, folks. You could win a million bucks just like that. Folks, we just brought top the top ten here going to the semifinals of the American. We're getting set to be there at the American, and we invite you to stay tuned with us on Facebook, on our YouTube channel, and at USTRC.com. We'll have complete coverage of the semifinals and the American itself on March 2nd. Stay tuned to the final spin. Thank you.